Well, good day, model railroaders. Something else while I'm in the rail yard that I just wanted to show you guys was couplers. So if we come up to a regular, well, this is a bulkhead, flat car. But we come up to a regular car, and there's the knuckle couple, coupler that you got. And the knuckle here, this is the piece that always breaks on them. So they pull this pin out, and they can drop in a new one real quick. Easy enough. But after the big accident in, uh, I think it was Quebec, with all the tank cars that exploded, there's a new design for couplers for them. Now, this happens to be one of those sitting right beside here too. So, as you can see, you got the regular coupler. So you got that, and that's the same. Just pull the pin, you can change that. But it's got a top piece, and it's got a bottom piece. Now, what's that do? Well, here we've got two cars put together. One tank car and one hopper. So you can see the two couplers together. Now, what that new coupler does on the tank car is it keeps the regular coupler from going up and down so it can't actually come out of the socket. So you see what I mean there? The top piece and the bottom piece go over top of the, the knuckle for the hopper, folds it in place so if they go up a grade, down a grade, it bounces. They can't come uncoupled whatsoever until you pull the coupler. Uncoupler! So, quick look at that. Regular coupler sits in here, from there to there. These pieces pop in. They got that much play so they can go up and down, but they can't come out. Okay guys. Now, I'm pretty sure they model, Scale Trains does anyway, they try to model the new couplers for the tank cars, so. But I found they break quite a bit. The knuckle actually comes off like a real train. And rotating bearing caps, look at that, Scale Trains is here too. Alright guys, until later on. Bye for now.